know if you're like me, but this time of the year makes me want to organize everything in my life. I want to organize my wardrobe and my kitchen and my social commitments. So today, we're going to help you do that. And we're starting with my favorite thing, shoes. <laughs> Here with brilliant DIY shoe organizing ideas is Julia Green. <laughs> Time, but this has my eyes dancing. I know, right? Oh. Shoes. I am a shoe girl. I think a good pair of heels can save the world. Well, maybe <laughs> not the world, my world. But I think what happens is we end up getting so many different pairs of shoes. They end up hiding in the bottom of your base, uh, bottom of your closet. Yeah. And then you end up tossing shoes that really just needed exposure. That's right. Because if you saw them, you would be wearing them. Yeah, because they're so pretty. Exactly. So, and you know, shoes nowadays is honestly like a multi-million dollar business, yeah. right? Some shoes are so expensive. I don't mm -hmm. know if you have any sneaker heads in your house, but I have Not one. Yet. They're Not too, yet. They're oh. too young for that still. You just wait. You get, you the, just you wait. get the sneakers mommy can afford. Ex well, okay, right now, <laughs> My son is like, honestly, doesn't even want to wear some of his shoes because yeah. they might crease. Right. But he's got a shelf in the room where the shoes sit and all his friends come and see them and ooh and ah. <laughs> so that's what they're calling now is shoe art. Yeah. So instead of your typical organized ideas, I came up with a few ideas how we could turn your regular footwear into art. Lovely. So we will start first with the piece de restaurants, the shoe wall. What do you guys think of the What's shoe wall? wall? With so a bit good. of help, with a bit of help. This was like DIY extreme for Jules. It included power tools. I'm really good with hot glue. <laughs> but anyway, so what this is, it's actually made out of skids, old skids, nice. right? And you can find those. I could, you can find them on Kijiji. You can maybe yeah. ask your, you know, supermarket if you could borrow one. Yeah. Um, you can find them, but they're usually quite rough when you mm -hmm. find them. So what we did was we sanded it, stained it, and then put two on top of each other to get that full height. Nice. And then what happens is they're just perfect slats for all your heels. Yes. So you can just put them in there. So this is for someone who's maybe short on closet space, long on wall space. Right. Right? Or maybe, you know, open concept loft in the living room. Why not, right? Beautiful. It's shoe art. And you can just put your best pairs out there. Exactly. But you are going to want to make sure that they look their best. Yes. Right? Before you turn your regular shoes into shoe art, you're going to have yeah. to get a few things. So that's what I had grabbed. My favorite. What are those? I know, right? These are the best. They're called shoe skunks. <laughs> and it does exactly the opposite of what you think. Well, anyways, what it does is actually take the odor out. So it works oh. with activated carbon. You just drop them into your shoes like that. Yeah. And Or runners or whatever you want. And then that's going to take the odor out of them. And it's a natural way of wow. doing it. Then you can obviously get like wipes, shoe yes. rescue wipes. Yes. These are great. So you can wipe them down. Wipe Actually, after you wear them, wipe the insides of yeah. them. Um, any kind of sprays. These ones I love. They smell like cedar. Oh, nice. So it goes in inside there. These are yeah. great. I got all this at well.ca, which is a great place. Had it delivered. But again, just turning your shoes. Now they're ready for the wall. Oh, lovely. Okay, now okay. let's move over to the shoe rack. Right. Not your typical shoe rack. This is, you know, hanging your shoes. A different idea. This might be a little bit more accessible for, for those of us that don't have heels as well. It's not me. I know, exactly. <laughs> I got lots I know, can of you them. believe it? Someone doesn't have high heels. But right. anyways, maybe you but don't. A, yeah, you might have more like running shoes, shoes. and dress shoes. And this is exactly. Be and for, for me, I've got so many kids. So many three, but they all yeah. play multiple sports, different shoes, different runners, and I don't know who's outgrown what. Right. So when they're hung, we can see them all together. Yes. And so for doing this, I got this rack came from IKEA, which is great because it's got the rack across there. Also comes with hooks on it. Oh, nice. And then I use these hooks, which are pattern hooks. I don't know if you've ever seen anything like yes. this. We normally carry patterns, like uh, fashion clothing patterns. Yeah. But because of that ribbon or rope there, you can flip it over. And then it becomes. And just loop it through. And just loop it through. So it's easy because if it's too difficult to hang your shoes, my gosh, they ain't gonna hang. That's right. Right? It's yeah. too much work. So this is a great alternative way of getting your shoes out on display. You may need a few skunks in these ones over here, but. For sure. <laughs> and also it gets them off the ground. Off the floor. I cannot Which take it. I cannot excellent. take it. I can't take it. Why yeah. can they hang a backpack? Why can they hang a coat? But they have to like toss their shoes. Right. No, hang them. Hang them. Hang them. Very nice. Okay, I so love the my solution. last idea, Tracy, this is for people that maybe are not buying into shoe art, okay? okay. Maybe <laughs> you really do want to have it, you know, hidden away, hidden away yeah. stored up. You want to come up with some ideas. Okay. So one of the ideas, I got this again from Ikea. Simple, you've seen these 
really great shoe pouches. Yeah. You can hang these in your closet. You can hang them on your racks, wherever you want to do with them. Multiple ideas with them. Yes. But what I did was I created a shoe box. Okay. From, this is the ottoman that sits at the bottom of my daughter's bed. Beautiful. And if we open this up here, you can see, look. Oh. What I've done is things here. Not sewed, not hot sewed. glued. Hot glue. You hot glued, I'm which so is why you're my hero. I know, I'm hot glue. I don't know oh. if people have ever lived without a hot glue gun before. Very good. But this is a way of getting the shoes, you know, you're, they're hidden, yeah. but they're still displayed. Yes. Because I think it's really important, as I said before, your shoes need exposure. They you do. need to see what you're look, what you're dealing with. Yeah. That way you can wear them and they'll last much longer and they're great that way. If they're all in a heap in here, you're not going to see a thing. Never. If they're out here, sort of everything in pairs, you'd be like, oh, those oh, are the ones I need for today. Exactly. These are the ones that Excellent. I want to wear and not be sort of frustrated digging around, always looking for that extra match. Very good, Julia, as yeah. always. Amazing. Oh, okay.